Welcome back everybody, my name is Tank and in this video we're gonna be talking about the price action for Cosmos. I'll be giving you guys my two cents about where it is in the market as well as where I think it might be going in the short term the future. But before I do that, if you guys would do me a huge favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're new here and you don't know, when you subscribe to my channel, you're actually entering a giveaway where you could possibly win yourself a 50 inch flat screen TV and or an MSI 2060 GPU once we hit 1000 subs here on YouTube. So do me a favor, do yourself a favor, do everybody a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's jump on into the charts just for reference I am starting off in the daily time frame, but I'm still using Market Cipher as my primary oscillator and indicator tool. I don't think I will ever stop using Market Cipher. Just an FYI, guys, I love using Market Cipher. If you guys want an oscillator and indicator tool like I use, check out the links below. Anyway, right now, Adam's price is trading for $29.36, guys. On the daily time frame, look how we came close to this 200 day May. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, guys. Look. Although I did say in my previous video that I didn't suspect that we would see price action get down to there, I warned you guys that there is a possibility of us doing that. This is crypto. Things can get turned around lickety split like guys be ready for those scenarios be ready for three things at all times like I always tell you either we dump we go sideways or we pump. If you're ready for those three scenarios at all times you're a okay just like I'm a okay I hope you are a okay. You okay Annie are you okay are you okay Annie but if you're not, guys, I want to point out to you guys, right now we're not doing too bad. We came down to the level that I told you guys to watch out for in my previous videos. We are pushing away from the 200 MA. The question is, will the rest of the market right now recover and start making a grind to the upside again? Only time will tell. In fact, as we're talking about that, before we get into the specifics that I'm seeing on Adam's chart, let's quickly jump on over to Bitcoin so we can get a better idea of what it's going to be doing in the short term future because if Bitcoin moves in one direction or the other, that's what's going to be moving the rest of the market. So let's Go ahead and take a look at it right now. Uh, right now, Bitcoin is trading for $60,394. And as it's come down to this 50 EMA, so far the 50 EMA, which is this uh, yellow line, excuse me, I didn't know if it was white or yellow, but as we come down to this yellow line, which is the 50 EMA, so far it is held up. Only time will tell. Watch it, guys. Watch to see if that 50 EMA holds up because right now, if the 50 EMA doesn't hold up, you better bet your britches we could slide down to the 200 EMA real quick like, real quick like, guys. Right now, if I show you guys what I have charted here, yes, there's a lot of lines. Stick with me. I'll tell you guys what I'm charting. But as you guys can see here, I have a humongous upward trend line, which we could come down. We could come down to this level, which is right around $52,000 to $53,000. Probably will find some support because there's a golden ratio right here in between that, which is right around $54,000. If we do wick below the 50 EMA, we will probably slide very quickly down to those levels. Watch for those levels to be support and see if they hold up, guys. But that's what I want you guys to be ready for. I don't think it's going to happen, but just like I said in my last video, you know, what I think and what it does is two different things. Be ready for it. Be ready for it. Right now, that's what I see for Bitcoin. Just prepare yourself if we slide further. Now, the RSIs on market side for B for Bitcoin, clearly pointing downward still on the daily time frame. But we have money flow. We have momentum on the money flow still in the green. We're still positive with the money flow. And it's even represented down here on the bar. So all in all, not too bad, guys. We were overextended. We, or, we were over leveraged. We were a little bit overheated. Excuse me. Apparently, I can't talk. But it was kind of to be expected. As we pump, we will have dumps. As we test all-time highs or get into price discovery for some of these assets, the market is going to be taking profits. Be ready for it. Expect it. Expect it. Now, we went through Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and go back to Adam, guys. Adam, right now, like I said, trading for $29.21. As you guys can see on Market Cipher A, I did change, which was once I triangle pattern into this channel-looking pattern, I guess downward sloping channel if you really want to be uh, specific about it uh, and right now we're testing this lower level of support yet again we had a touch back here we had a touch right here and since these are so close together they're back to back days I really haven't changed my bottom level of support I want to see if it holds up I haven't done this just yet because if you guys know my channel whenever I have two touches that's when I extend uh, any kind of trend line but right now this is still in play we are still right above it so I want to see if it holds up so I'm going to leave it as it is on Adam's chart though, if we break below this downward support line right here, 
from this channel, look for the 200 EMA to hold up as support, guys. We can clearly just go ahead and make it real simple and take out the Fibonacci retracement and go from the high down to the low when we started this rally. And what do you see? You can see that right now, guys, we are bouncing right on that 0.5, which is around $26.88. I told you to watch out for that. We could come all the way down to $25. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually fill my bags. I had a buy order down there at $25 just in case because I'm ready for that movement like you should be ready. Again, it's not financial advice. I'm just telling you guys what I had. But unfortunately, it didn't get filled. Oh, well, I'm trying to see if it does get filled. I'm not sweating it. Either way, it's there just in case. I'm buying these dips. I'm still ultra bullish for Cosmos. You best to believe that we're going to be seeing much higher price points. What I believe at least. I, I believe it. I don't know. You, you can choose to believe me or not. I believe that we're going to see much higher price points in the short to near future. And I'm not getting shook. I'm not getting shook one bit. I already put out my videos on why you should be ultra bullish for Cosmos. If you guys don't know, go back and watch those videos. Do yourself a service. Do yourself a favor. Go watch those videos. And don't forget, like them. Guys, right now, if we break down further though, watch this 200 EMA to hold up as support, which is right around $25. If we break down below that and we actually have a whole market collapse, look out for, I'm just going to skip past this next Fibonacci because if we have a collapse, it's going to go all the way down to this level here, which is right around $17 on the Fib line, guys. That's the last level of defense right now. That is basically where you could expect a pretty good buy order to be in from most of the market. Um, again, not financial advice, just telling you guys what I'm suspecting is going to happen. But that's what I see going on, guys. Give Adam and give the rest of the market some time. Right now, the best trade is no trade. That's not financial advice, but that's strong suggestion. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. But yeah, that's the best suggestion I could give you guys. If you have like really low buy orders, just let them sit. Just let them sit. If they don't get filled, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. You know, if we rally, great. If you miss the boat, eh, you know, you can't win them all. But the point of it is to don't get into a position that you're going to regret. So right now, I think sitting on your hands and just kind of letting things play out is the best thing to do. But that's what I got right now, guys. I hope you guys found this beneficial. I know, guys. Don't sweat it, though. It's, it's stressful, but don't sweat it. Long time horizons, right? Long time horizons. I have no idea what I'm doing with my hands today. Just for that fact, you guys should subscribe to the channel. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. What's the market doing? I don't know. Peace.